Hello and welcome back to Everybody's Golf. Um, I'm hoping that I've qualified for the next round of the international tournament. Um, their qualifiers are finished. I haven't got a notification that I can see. So let's go through the international tournament gateway and see how we how we finished in the qualifier. I thought I had a reasonably good round. I made a couple of mistakes, but it was it was decent. I've qualified for the finals. Brilliant. Okay. So you get to go once. Looks like there's 3,292 entries. Let's back out. Did I get anything in my notices? Ah, so. Notice box. Brilliant. Okay, that's the first time I've I've played one of these tournaments. In fact, I think it is the first tournament. So let's see what you get as a as a notice. Ah, see so the qualifying. I got 15 under. So I was well inside. So I was grade A, top six to twenty percent. Okay. So that's not awful. And there's some sort of ranking you can see. I think they've done a reasonably good job with this. I think if they run one of these kind of every week, it'd be quite interesting. Let's see where you end up. So someone got twenty-two under. Wow. I mean, they must have absolutely spanked some stuff. But Japanese well presented. There's, there's one USI guy, Korean. I mean, it just looks like the Japanese have dominated this. Is there even a Brit in the top 100? There you go. First Brits at 120. With 9 under. So actually, I was, I was only 4 off. Ah, you got a distribution of scores. Yeah, so it looks like I was in the top end anyway. The peak score seems to be around 13 under. Looks like I've got 50 over. <laughs> 90, how'd you get 98 over? I suppose if you, yeah, if you 12 shot at everything. Wow. So it's a pretty normal distribution, isn't it? But yeah, 13 under was kind of the median, what's the modal score? I don't know where the medium pans out. It's probably a bit lower. Medium is probably about 10. Can you filter down? I think you can. Okay. Oh, and that was the... Top wing got Longest drive, 426. Wow, so they've got some custom clubs, haven't they? Fishing level 15. A couple of turf war MVPs. Yeah, 280. Uh, decent, decent stats. Okay. Right, so. We've qualified. Let's play. So it's Eagle City 18 hole. Yeah, you can't use anything. Oh, you're getting maximum. So you're getting all the power, all the control, all the backspin, but no gear for this. Let's get clicking. It's a championship normal cups. So it's going to be quite long. See how we get on. And I think starting out on Eagle City is probably pretty good because it's it's a course everybody's familiar with. Certainly when you first play, it's the it's the first course you play. I imagine they'll run tournaments on other courses as we progress through the international tournaments. I do wonder if they're going to ramp the conditions up as well and do a do a windy and wet um, vortex valley or something where it's just going to be absolute chaos. But I think, you know, reasonable conditions on Eagle City is a good place to start. Let everybody get used to the format. You get a couple of rounds in. So, the Everybody's Golf Cup Eagle City Golf Course. 
You get those little blow up things again. A little bit of a course preview. And of course you only get one shot at this. So we got four meters of wind from the from the left. I've managed to under hit that. But again, you're not driving the green here anyway. This is about getting a good setup for your second. So 295. Left ourselves 94. Wind coming over from the left. Mm, how close can we get it? Uh, that's not my best Red shot shot. ever. Yeah, just off the front edge. Oh, we're just on, just on. So we get a putt for the birdie. You'd imagine someone would have chipped in for the eagle. A little bit down out. I may have overhit that. That better hit the hole or it's going to run past. Oof. Just dropped. Just dropped. So birdie start. Okay. So the wind's coming from our right. Again, we just don't want those bunkers in play if we can avoid it. Nice to want to hit that one as well. And I've hit the tree. Which is not helpful. But that's okay. It's okay. So 273 leaves us 70 odd. Okay, and win from the right. What's that one like? It's over pitched a little bit. Should come back a bit. Wow, a bit of backspin there. Oh, I suppose I get 15 backspin, don't I? So you've got a lot of backspin in this one. So I've got a birdie chance. I kind of forgot that we we're fully powered up. Oh. <laughs> so two nervy putts for two birdies. But again, we've got lots of backspin to play with here. It's a par five. Ah, uh, my favourite hole. Hole three. Probably well, I suppose it is albatrossable, but it's gonna be tricky. Just cause you don't have the legs. But again, we'll cut the corner. And see if we can get on for two. 187 to go. It's going to kick right. Wind's going to bring it back to the left. Not a lot of green to work with in front. And it's uphill. So we'll go for the back of the green. And give ourselves a pup. So yeah, we've, we've over pitched a touch. But heart of the green. So we've got a 13 footer. Left to right part, slightly downhill. Why have I left that high? Have I left that high? No! Not bad. I'll take my eagle. So four under start. Again, you know, this is harder than the qualifier, obviously, because we're playing on the longer tees. We just do not have the length for this. Great shot. Yeah, you're normally hitting this 100 yards further. But again, it's probably 40 yards in the tee. So 294, leaves me 205. Oh, interesting pin. So we're going to have to come in right to left, I think. Okay. Got the impact. It's all about where it pitches. Should pitch on that little approach. And will it grip? Will it grip? Yeah, it gripped a bit. So, left me 14 foot. Again. To the right. Let's see how we do that. That's about right. 
Is it gonna break enough? Is it gonna break? Ah, oh, left it high. Left it high side. Focus. Yeah. So take the par. Nice par. All right. I mean, I'm gonna consider that a drop shot if I'm honest. It's a par five. Because that was a makeable birdie. Okay, now normally I'd play here, but I don't think there's going to be an advantage today because that tree's in the way and it doesn't really help me. So we might just play for there. Why do I get there? So I probably want to bring it round, don't I? Okay. Just try and hold it up into the wind. It sort of chokes down a little bit there, but that's okay. That's good. That's a good shot. So just under 300 yards again. Needs to be 290. Wow. Yeah, so it's a wood. We'll, we'll go with the power shot. Ooh, the, um, yeah. It'll be interesting to see if we hit the tree here. Okay. <laughs> a little bit of tailwind to help. Go on, get over the get over the fairway. Get over the fairway. Oh, you know, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Gives us a good approach. Yeah, we're under thirty, so we get the thirty-yard approach, which should help. A little bit of a tailwind, and it's just going to pitch right when it lands. So maybe there. Let's see if we can st stop it. Ah, missed the impact. We should be close. There you go. Didn't pitch pitch right at all. But a foot for a birdie. It was a makeable eagle though. So five under. Five holes in. It's a par four. Again. No, yeah, they shouldn't be in play. Hmm. Let's play with a bit of backspin just to make sure they're not in play. Ooh, that's all right. Is that over the tree? Wow, you kind of forget it brings a lot more trees into play, doesn't it? So 277 gives you 180. Hmm. Again, this is all about stopping the ball. No. Oh. Which I should pitch front edge. Oh, is he going to drift? Is he going to drift? Oh, I got lucky there. It was nearly bunker. But I'm at the back on the fairway. But I've got a chip back. How's me luck? How's me luck? Go on. I'll take it. Again, I think the high control stat really helps you there with those. So, par three. Hmm, that'll be. I imagine that'll be a touch short. Yeah. Line wasn't great either, but I'm on. Twelve footer. Go for the birdie. Gonna break a little bit right. Sloping downhill. Breaks to the right. But again, I've got to kind of hit it soft. I don't want to go too hard at it. Hopefully, I'll just bring it in. There you go. Just seven under. Oh, you're good. Oh, hey, it's a par four. Again, those bunkers are just in play if you miss hit. So let's try not to miss hit. Yeah, yeah it should be okay. You've just got enough margin there. So 103, it's going to kick slightly right, and the wind's going to bring it back to the left. Not a lot of room. Let's just get it. Let's just get it up and over. Master voice. Ah, uh, yeah. 
And that's going to spin back onto the fringe. Uh, still on the fringe. So I can putt this. Or I can chip it. I might putt it. It's going to break a little bit. Oh! Just the low side. Just the low side. That's a drop shot as well. So, I should be 9 under there, but I'm 7 under with those two pars. But there you go. Just got a pleat shot on its merit. Okay. It's a little bit over the shoulder. Let's hold that up in the wind. Where's that going to pitch? That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Five and off foot. Reasonably straight putt. Thank you very much. So, out in eight under. I think, yeah, those two pars, I mean, look at them. They were from a foot and, and seven. They were just two missed putts, weren't they? And we got that chip in as well. So, let's head back in. Reasonable start. Nice shot. Nice shot. Again, this is all about setting up the second. Have I got enough sight of it? Although the pin looks like it's set in a bit, so you've got a bit of room. T24. So it's going to be a wood, which is going to make it... going to make it interesting. Okay. And I have under-hit that. Oh, good I'm gonna need a decent bounce here. I'm gonna need a decent bounce. Champion. Yeah, yeah, I don't hit it a little bit. But seven foot. Oh, for the eagle. Reasonably flat. Show me what you got. Just outside left edge and see how we do. Yeah. Yes, an eagle. Oh, yes. nice eagle. So eagle start. Oh, Again, oh yeah, we're just shy of those three, three bunkers. So let's get it up there. Great shot. Hopefully we haven't gone too far left. That should be okay. Just on that bare patch there. Oh, I've got a bit of an interesting line in, so I've got that slope in front of it. So we'll just we'll just shape it right to left. Bravo. Awesome. Yeah, line's a bit off, but pace was pretty good. So nine footer. Pretty flat, so right edge. Hit it firm. As me, as me putting dead center. Nice birdie. So that takes us to eleven under. Oh, 12. It's a par three. Again, not too bad a pin position. Oh, might have just over hit that a touch. Oh, nice shot. If it pitches. Oh, I pitched on the green, yeah. Line was a bit off as well. What's that, 10 foot, 11 foot? Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a tricky slope, really. Okay. Now I can hit this firm. Have I over borrowed on it? No, it's going to come back. Oh, just, just in. So we're back on. Back on 12 under. Uh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. This is all about where you pitch it. Although actually the sand's quite close to the pin, so even even getting this sand is probably not the end of the world. But let's try and stop it. Wind will bring it back a bit. All on the bounce, all on the bounce, all on the bounce. Yeah, it's going to end up in the bunker. No, it's not actually. It's a little bit shy. 
So I didn't actually have the legs. Okay. Right, so this is very makeable. But of course it's going to kick left and it's not going to come back enough for me, is it? And I was a touch shy. So that was a makeable eagle. Take my birdie. Oh, I've got a genuine dilemma now. Now, normally... Actually, I don't know, yeah. I'm, I'm far enough back that I probably do want to play that line. And I can just chip over the top. So let's see if we can stop this. And give ourselves a good second. Mm, is that going to end up... Ah, oh, it's in the rough, sadly. Look at the gate, Okay. It's going to kick left a bit. Oh. Question here is, will it stop? Oh. Yeah, the answer. Oh, I want to chip that for sure. Overpitched it a bit. Just needed to drop. Oh. I'm up just relaxed. And that's definitely a drop shot. That was incredibly makeable. Not a good second shot. And then that chip was not great. Eh. It's a 15. Probably underpitched that. Oh, it's a bit of sway on the club there. It's gone from well left. Gone well left. I don't even think I'm on. It's a bit of fringe. Let's chip it back. Let's chip it back. Get in the hole. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Call yourself a booby. Yeah, there's a bit of a rescue more than anything else. Oh, sixteen. It's a par four. It's a sixteen again. We're gonna have to hit up this little bit of yeah fairway there. There's no. No, I haven't got the legs to skip it up there, have I? I think we'll just play it safe. Plus, play for there. Come on, Master Wolf. Didn't clip the tree. Should pitch nicely. Should run on. Give ourselves a decent approach. So, 72 and change. Missed the impact. That's not bad, though. That's not bad. You'll take three foot. You'll take it. So straightforward birdie. Nice birdie. So two else to go. It's a four-five finish. It's a par four. Again, it's just not drivable with with the current setup. But again, let's try and stay a little bit high. Ah, oh, 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 missed it. Missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it, missed it. Where's that going to go? Is that in trouble? Oh, that might be in trouble. Oh, that might be in trouble. No, it's okay. Oh, I got the obstruction, so I got a free drop. Puts me back on the fairway. That's a little bit of luck. Can we take advantage of it? Can we take advantage of the luck? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's going to be a makeable pup. So we, we had a little bit of a lucky break there. Let's take our birdie and move on. Yeah. Okay. Right, so, 18. Last one for 18. It's a par 5. I mean, in theory, it's eagleable. Eagleable is that a word? Do I want to go that side? What sort of line does that leave you? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at it. Although that bit, I don't think I want to pitch there because too much chance of being in the rough. I think we'll play up there because I'm going to need a good fairway line to get that second in. So if I can get the second close enough, I might go. I've got the chance of the eagle. 
I don't think length's going to be necessarily the issue. It's a 240 left. So I can reach the green. This is all about how. Where's my three iron end up? Again, my real, uh, my real worry is that bunker that I just landed in. So that was not great, was it? Okay. Oh, so that's the eagle gone, but the birdies. Tricky. So, 17 foot up with a real slope. Real slope. How's that one look? Oh, I left it low. Wow, I need much more. That broke hard. Just relax. Broke hard. So, par. It's a 16 under. Even par, eh? I could have made 19 under there, really. 19 under was definitely possible. Maybe even 20. With the two eagles, you could birdie everything. But hey, you got to be pleased with it. So my score's in. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's our first international tour complete. We'll see where we end up. Yeah, fairways. Fairways was my issue, wasn't it, I think? Well, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. And um, I'll see you next time.